Hey everyone, this is Prashant. If you want to simulate multiple panel movement like the Twitter iPad app, you can do that. Let's look at what multiple panel movement means. When I tap here and drag this panel, both the panels move. And when I tap, when I drag it back, the, both the panels move. And at the same time, this panel should be able to move independently on its own. You can actually simulate that in Azure. This is the Azure prototype, and uh, these are the fee. These are the uh, tweets. This is the detail of the tweet, a uh, detail of a link in a tweet. When someone uh, drags this one, both the panels move. When I drag it back, both the panels move again. And at the same time, this panel uh, can move independent of the of the uh, tweets panel. So you can do that in Azure, and this is how you do it. <coughs> You choose this particular uh, feeds panel, and this is uh, uh, and turn it into a dynamic panel. So you will have two panels. The one is the feeds panel, which I'm calling feeds, and the other one is the is the detail. This one I'm calling that the news panel. So you choose the feeds panel first, and then um, under your um, case. Well, un under your interaction uh, in a widget properties area, what you need to do is on drag start, you need to move the feeds panel by uh, by say 146 pixels on the right side, and you you may want to move it uh, depending upon what your requirements are, and then at the same time without any weight, move the news panel, which is the which is this panel also by uh, by the same pixels in this case i moved it by 150 and then uh, to make sure that when you click and drag the next time it moves back um, you know the f first time when you when you click and drag it needs to move to the right side second time when you click and drag it needs to move to the left to do that <clears throat> you create another case and uh, you say move feeds uh, by minus 146 pixels and move the news panel by minus 146 or 50 pixels and you introduce a switch here uh, a conditional variable here saying that uh, if the uh, feed panel dragged variable equal to zero then you do this and at the end of it you set it to one uh, which means the next time when you click on it uh, it will be one and it will automatically come here and this will happen at the end of it you set the variable back to zero so that these functions will happen uh, which basically means that first time you click it moves to the right side second time you click it moves to the left side and so on i did not talk about moving this particular uh, panel functionality in here uh, that is in a separate video you can look at it hope that helps thank you very much Bye bye